hello guys so welcome to my channel again this is a home of fashion where i do teach how to cut and sew varieties of tie so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you guys how to cut and sew this crop bustier top with a strap in a very easy way so guys if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you can get notified so guys this is the material i'll be using to i'll, I'll be using for this tutorial so I'm just going to open it up now. Then we we'll start the we'll start the cutting. So I have my length from the chest to the waistline. So I just make it together like this. So I'm going to place my measurement tape this way to locate my round under bust. The one, the, the, the measurement tape up at upper side represents the length of my strap. All right. So I'm just going to make a straight line on that my mark now. So after this now I'm going to be taking my nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple is 7.5 but now I'm measuring 8. So I'm going to roll it out. Please, you have to help me manage it. The cloth is very, very wobbling, so I'm just trying to chuck it out how I can. So, I'm very sure you'll be able to get what I'm still doing. So, from my round in that bust now, I'll be coming out by one one inch. So for the neckline, I came out by half inch here, but for the side, I came out by one inch, alright? So I just placed my French curve ruler to curve it out. So now that I've gotten what I want, I'm going to extend this line all the way down to the end of the of the dress. So I'm just going to come down by one inch here. So from there, I'll make a curve to connect with the upper side to form a sweetest neckline. So right now, I'll be inserting my round body measurement. So I'll be using my round post measurement for the, this chest line. So divided by four plus two from plus one and a half inch of that dart, then plus two inches seam allowance. Then my round post now divided by four plus two inches seam allowance. I'm sure you understand this. Then my round under bust divided by four plus the two inches that allowance plus two inches same allowance all right then same thing applies to the waistline So I place my measurement from my chest line to locate my armhole. So I'm just going to cut it out now. So 
so the cutting is set like this so the next thing I'm going to be doing I'm going to be cutting the lining just exactly the way I cut the main fabric So right now I'm going to place the the center piece on this on the back on this back on this material I set aside for the back to cut out the back piece. So I just use the lining of the center piece. So I place it like this to set aside my zipper allowance so for this bag I'm just going to be coming down by 2 inches then I connect to where my neckline for the front piece starts from then I place the side piece to cover out my armhole as well So now I'll just place it on the lining and, and cut it out also. So now I will be cutting the wording for the front piece. I'm still going to make use of my lining because the main material is very wobbling so that is why I'm making use of the lining. So I'm going to be coming the wording on the main material not the lining. So I don't cut at exact point of where the neckline starts from because I wouldn't I wouldn't want it to be too thick at the edge that the lining will be popping up after I use lining to cut it. So that is why I go in like one inch before I curve it out. So I place it on another wording to cut the to cut the wording for the side piece also. So I'll go ahead, I'll go and place it like this on the main material and I'll use hot iron to come it with the material Then I'll come back, I'll come and show you how I'll be joining it. So guys, as you can see, I've already come it with the main material. So I'm just going to place it like this. 
just like this then I'll gently I'll gently stitch it I'll go ahead so before I do that I want to cut the strap So the length of my strap is 12 so I'll be cutting 13 I'll be using half half inch to join it with the main body so I'll go and turn it to the wrong side like this I'll run a stitch like this then I'll turn it and I'll iron it in a way that my joining will be in the middle it will not be showing all right so guys as you can see I've already joined the front piece together as you can see the way it came out very firm and beautiful so as, it, as it is now there is no need to wear bra or knit all right so this is how I'm I'm going to be joining it this is the strap I'm just going to be placing the strap inside it like this and I'll use the lining to cover it don't forget this lining now is right side facing the right side then I place the strap in between the lining and the main and the main and the main cloth so I will just go ahead I'll secure it around then I'm going to leave a little space in one side to turn it out from there. So I'll go ahead now, I'll go and do that then. I'll come and show you the next thing to do. Alright guys, I've already done that. As you can see how beautiful this is coming out. Do you see this? So for the back piece now, I'm just going to be placing it the same way just wait to see how I'm going to be doing it then I use my I use my office pin to hold it down I also set this side So I'll go ahead, I'll go and secure it around, leaving a little space also to turn it out. So I'll go ahead now, I'll go and do that and I'll come and show you the next thing to do. So guys, as you can see, it's coming out very beautiful. This is it. So I'm just going to turn the right side facing the right side now then I will then I will I'll stick the sides together with the body measurement of the person all right so I'll go ahead I'll go and do that now then I'll come and show you the final look of it all right guys as you can see how beautiful this came out so lovely as a lady you need to have this on your closet all right so guys if you find this helpful please like and share this is how i always keep it simple and understandable here so guys this is how it look on my client body and she really love it so please don't forget to hit subscribe button thanks for watching see you in my next video